What is going on guys, this is Hero Talk, and this is part 9 out of 10 from the plot leak. And this time there are some leaks for Marvel's plans on phase 4. So I already made uh, the plot leaks for all the phase 3 movies, and uh, these plot leaks um actually come from a reddit.com and a user just posted every leak on this website and this isn't confirmed to be real so this could be fake it sounds everything sounds legit so no one is really sure if this guy is really working by uh, in marvel and has legit information but it isn't confirmed keep this in mind and needless to say they're are spoilers if this is real so if you don't want to get spoiled leave the video but let's get into it iron man is expected to die in avengers 4 due to robert donny jr due to robert donny jr's contract expiring and because it's the most logical resolution to his overarching storyline and sadly this is true um and uh, that's also an example for why I think this could be legit just because it makes everything he says makes sense um, indeed um, Robert Downey Jr's contract is expiring and he didn't sign in for other movies um, and apart from that it would make sense also story wise so he had his franchise Iron Man 1 2 3 he had his very important roles in other movies, his came cameos, he's expected to have some more cameos in other movies, and well also his character um, right now after Civil War is pretty much broken, he lost a bit his happiness, so it would be a tragic end, although I think that in Avengers 4 um, they will be a team again, and yes, um, the next one is saying Chris Evans has already renewed his contract for more movies, so Captain America won't die. Although there are news uh, that say that Chris, uh, Steve Rogers isn't Captain America anymore, which is just um, logic if you are thinking about what happened at the end of Civil War. Uh, the end of Civil War did just suggest that uh, Captain America isn't active anymore, that Steve Rogers gave uh, up the mantle of uh, Captain America. Um, if you watched Civil War, you know what I'm talking about, but um, since Chris Evans renewed his contract, it's just very likely that he will still appear in further Marvel movies, but let's Continue. A Thor might die as negotiations with Chris Hemsworth are still ongoing. And there are also many speculations about Thor dying, it's just because also in Thor Ragnarok already people are thinking that he is going to die. But I don't think so because he would be a very important addition to um, Infinity War. The next one says Hawkeye and Black Widow might also die as negotiations are still ongoing. While it's likely that Scarlett Johansson will renew her contract, Jer Jeremy Renner probably won't. At this point I have to say that it is pretty likely that a whole bunch of people will die in Avengers Infinity War Part 1 or Part 2, probably Part 2. And since uh, Hawkeye isn't that much of a important character until now, it's pretty likely that he will die and um besides from that he isn't uh, he also isn't very famous he isn't very popular as uh, iron man is for example so story wise it may would make sense if he dies but also for uh, the marvel studio themselves it would make sense and if this is real i I'm totally understanding why uh, Jeremy Renner or Hawkeye 
will die. But I don't think that Black Widow will die because uh, recently Scarlett Johansson expressed her interest into uh, making a Scarlet Witch solo film. Also directors and other people's people at Marvel aren't against a Black Widow solo movie, so I don't really think that she will die, as she could be potentially an important character in Phase 4. But let's carry on. The Hulk won't die, and Mark Ruffalo is slated for further movies. That's uh, good to hear. Mark Ruffalo didn't have many movies until now. He had only appeared in Avengers, uh, in the Marvel's The Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron. And he will appear also in Thor Ragnarok and the f upcoming Avengers movies. But he didn't have any um, solo movies or anything that focused on him yet. And since there could be the possibility of making a, a Hulk solo movie, also if it is very difficult for all the movie rights and stuff like that, but it just makes sense to not kill off the Hulk. And besides from that, it is also hard to kill the Hulk. <laughs> I mean, I know that Thanos is very powerful, and especially with the Infinity Stones, he would be totally able to kill the Hulk, but still, it is pretty hard to kill him. But let's continue. In Phase 4, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel and Scarlet Witch are expected to take even more prominent roles. And this is kind of expected because they are setting up all these characters now in Phase 3 so that in Phase 4 they already can be the present Avengers, the new Avengers, the new heroes of um, the world. And this is just why... I think that many of the original Avengers might die or just stop being heroes, not only because story-wise it would make sense, because they they had their time and now they have to make space for new heroes, but just because of these new heroes that they are setting up right now, that they set up, they that they started setting up with Captain America's Civil War. And now in Phase 3 there are basically more new heroes as the old heroes and it may, it just makes sense to come up with uh, some new heroes in phase 4 but let's carry on there's interest in she-hulk but it's complica complicated due to marvel studios agreement with universal pictures over hulk movies so as i said it is a bit difficult uh, to make uh, hulk movies just because of these arrangements with Universal Pictures. And yeah, um, a She-Hulk storyline, I don't know why, but I think it wouldn't be that great. Just because I would like to have a Hulk movie at first, another Hulk movie at first. M maybe She-Hulk could appear also in this Hulk movie, but I don't know, I would rather like to to have the focus on the Hulk only. So if they are planning on making a She-Hulk movie, I would rather prefer to... I would rather uh, prefer that Marvel Studios just put effort into a Hulk movie instead of a She-Hulk movie. But let's come to the next point. There's interest in introducing Hercules to the movies. There will be a new overarching storyline that'll inform Phase 4, but Feige and his associates are still figuring out whether they'll do something as wide spanning as Thanos again or keep this big stories uh, or keep this big story arcs confined to each phase and me personally um that's disappointing that's a bit disappointing uh, just because I like this idea of uh, having these three phases culminating in the last movie in phase 3 that over all these three phases, there is a big danger that is coming to the Avengers. But um, still, I think that um, after Thanos, after such a big character as Thanos, such a pow powerful character, there would be still characters who could be as powerful as him 
and fill whole three phases. But uh, still, I think after something like Thanos, it could also make sense having only dangers for one phases or major villains for one phase. But me personally, I I like this thing of having three phases together until now. But we have to see how phase four is developing, how phase five will look like and six. I don't know which plans Marvel currently has for the future, but if they are um, focusing on Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Scarlet Witch, possibly Black Widow, Guardians of the Galaxy and just stuff like that, I would totally be on board. But let's carry on. With Norman Osborn now back in the, their catalog, there is interest in further exploring the political aspects of the MCU with a version of the Dark Reign storyline, including the introduction of Sentry. So also with Black Panther, the movie, uh, it was said already that they would focus more on political aspects, which makes sense because a Black Panther and T'Challa is uh, the king of Wakanda, and also because he is under the Sokovia Accords. And I'm uh, not a big fan of politics and stuff like that, so I wouldn't appreciate it much to focus much on uh, politics. But still, it depends on how they're doing it. For example, the thing uh, with Black Panther, I can imagine that they're doing it good. If you want to hear what exactly uh, they are planning to make in Black Panther, uh, just go ahead and watch uh, the Black Panther leak um, um, video I made, uh, so that I'm not spoiling you in this video if you want to see also the the other ones. But um, what I also have to mention is that the introduction of Norman Osborn would be uh, really amazing. Norman Osborn is just a huge character in the comics and he could be a very huge character also in the MCU just because he's so powerful, not only as the Green Goblin, but just as a man, a person himself. He's such an important character in economics <laughs> and also politics and stuff like that. He just owns Oscorp, a huge uh, company as comparable to Stark Industries. So he may be something like a new St um, Tony Stark in Phase 4, but with negative intentions. Or if Tony Stark will still appear in Phase 4, which is sadly unlikely, he could be maybe something like a an antagonist to Tony Stark before getting Green Goblin and fighting uh, Spider-Man. But let's carry on. There's also interest in a version of the Secret Invasion storyline, which would be carefully laid out over several movies. If they are if they ever do something as big and ambitious as Thanos, it would be this. Let's carry on. Inhumans are still in development, but the recent falling out with Ike Permadler, the biggest pusher of the project, and the Inhumans also being tangled up with the TV department through Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., means it's very likely they'll officially scrap it. So yes, um, we also recently w uh, wondered if Inhumans got cancelled or not. It wasn't, and um, here's the confirmation, if this is real. I would love to see an Inhumans um, movie, but as they're saying here, maybe they're just connecting it more to the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm, series. If they won't do a standalone movie for the Inhumans, maybe they'll end up doing putting them into uh, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. But let's come to the last point. Uh, there's renewed interest in Thunderbolts after Suicide Squad wasn't quite what trailers made it out to be. And that's very interesting, because just like Suicide Squad, it's just exciting to have a group of 
kind of villains or antagonists or darker heroes like the Punisher and uh, yeah um, the Thunderbolts if you don't know who they are it's just a group of anti-heroes like the Punisher, Agent Venom, um, Red Hulk and Deadpool and these are all just amazing characters and having them together in a group would be amazing and it's just bringing some variation to the normal uh, superhero movies but because normally we already have this uh, the protagonist a hero having his origin fighting his villain saving the day and stuff like that but having some uh, groups like thunderbolts it is just more interesting because we have always this thing that they are actually more darker people villains bad people and stuff like that so it is just and more interesting to see how they develop maybe into good people or how they finally just fight bad people but yes tell me what you guys think about this in the comments there are some pretty interesting aspects here to think about so just tell me in the comments what you think about this and if you did like this video just hit the like button and if you don't want to miss the last part of the plot leak just subscribe to the channel.